Hey guys, it's Wendy. Welcome to um, day two of Use It or Lose It. And we are making another Christmas card and I'm using what I have in my stash. And again, I'm using DSP that's a couple years old and a stamp set or a stamp set from close to my heart that I never got to use. And I love this sentiment. Love, good cheer, and a joyous new year. And it's really, you can give it to anyone. It doesn't specifically say Christmas, so I think this is going to be my, in quotation marks, Christmas card this year. And I did pop up the, um, the paper on dimensionals, and this strip is one and five eighths inches and it really can be whatever length you want and I initially was trying to keep in to keep these borders without having to cut them Gonna take that little piece of black off and then try to make this one and five eighths inches and that's pretty close so <clears throat> what I found was that using the misty was really a great way to mass produce your cards and I did put this strip in just so I could line up this sentiment and if you keep this the um, paper to one and five eighths your stamp will pretty much fit in there perfectly and so with the little mini misty you can stamp it several times to get the the darkness you want and I wanted it to be really dark and I believed I did it four times and use any kind of black ink that you have this happens to be the black Distress ink. And then the only thing I would say is lift it up slowly because sometimes the stamp will stick to the paper and then that is what you get and I'm just gonna and you can use dimensionals or, or phone tape where did my phone tape go and I am almost out of my phone tape and I rearranged my space yesterday and now I can't find anything. Does that ever happen to you where you think you might be cleaning and then you put things back in a different place and then you can't find it? That happens to me all the time where I should just leave things where they are and just ignore and then just line it up and if it hangs off you can just cut that off now if you had the foam tape it would work a little bit better than the dimensionals I could have put four more on here but for the sake of conserving my dimensionals I didn't so 
you know, each card will be slightly different depending on where you're cutting the designer paper from, but it still has a great look and a great easy way to mass produce your holiday cards, your Christmas cards, um, whatever you send out or don't. They could even be for the people you work with. So um, what do you think? I like this one. I really do. Do you like it? Um, well, just thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's me, Wendy. I am just going to show you the stack of um, holiday cards I ended up making. Um, in the first video, I did it with black ink, and I really didn't like that. So I decided to use a different color. So here was the card, not the exact card I made, on the video, but this was um, done with the black ink and I later embossed it with clear white. And then I decided I wanted a lighter color, so I used the Glacier Blue from Close to My Heart ink, and then I did the embossing with the clear on top, so it made it a little brighter. And I had done a video, but I have no idea what happened to it. And I don't know if maybe my camera turned off and I didn't realize it, and several days had passed, and I don't know. So I'm just going to show you all the cards that I ended up making. Now, they're each different because of the um, designer paper I used. So they have a little difference. And then this one was one of the first ones I made with the Glacier ink with no embossing, but then I added some sequins. And I'm honestly, I just do not know how to use sequins where it looks nice because I got glue coming out from the top and it just looks like a hot mess. So if you have any good suggestions on how to incorporate sequins, I will. I would love to hear what you say, because at this point, I don't think I'm going to use them, because I just don't like how they look on the cards. But for the majority of these cards, they are with the Glacier Blue and the embossing. And I really liked this color combination. This was from Close to My Heart. The black and blue cardstock is from Michaels. And this is part of my Use It or Lose It series, so I did want to go ahead and show you the rest of the cards. And um, yeah, if you know a trick to using sequins, I would love to hear your comments and suggestions. And thanks for watching, and hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, as it is Christmas right now. So, um, until my next video, see you later. Bye, guys.